So next to bat will be Andrew the right Walker. Field. And their runners Andrew at the corners now. Walker. Now the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Julio Pablo Martinez. He bounced out last time up. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. So stepping in is Andrew Walker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is just fair as it'll hug the line and head for the right field corner. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Striding in is Miguel Angel Sierra. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Miguel Angel. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Next to hit, Jake Myers. Runner in scoring position with two gone. And an off-speed pitch. Swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Stepping up is Ryan Dora. It was a walk in his last trip. Skied into straightaway right. Walker is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Next, it'll be Davis Wenzel. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ryder Ryan will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 36. So now to the plate, Andrew Walker. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And now he'll try and scurry back to first, but the throw rings him up. Andrew Walker will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ready with the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead. 0 and 2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. This is hit high and deep out to left. Left fielder looking up at the track. The wall. Gone. It's a grand slam. And it's almost unfair. He inherited this mess from the previous pitcher, but he definitely didn't help the situation. They hoped he could save the day and put out the fire, but instead he threw some gasoline on it. Hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. A 6 nothing shutout to finish off tonight's game. The Corpus Christi Hooks jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked bad. Brandon Belak takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, permitting only one hit in six complete innings. Hans Kraus is settled with a loss after giving up only one earn. Carson LaRue works two full innings in relief to record the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Fleezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com.